Hi everyone, thank you Sir Jojo for that kind introduction. So we're basically we're using a new platform. We're not on Zoom. Uh andito tayo ngayon sa Facebook Live. So uh, we're trying new things out. Uh, magandang gabi po. So let me try to share my screen for my deck. Um for a short while. Okay. So I hope you're seeing my screen already. So if you're seeing my screen, pwede po bang malaman ko by um, your heart reactions? And can I see some heart reactions if you're seeing my screen? Wow, we're now at 100 viewers already. Uh, two from our YouTube channel, eight from the IXL CIA Review Center which is our partner for this episode, and 86 from our uh, own Facebook page. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. So, uh, as Sir Jojo mentioned, this is a very special episode because this is the first time that we will be having this um, having this particular session about design sprint. Now, this is Google's Design Thinking for Innovation. And later on, as mentioned in our post, no, meron na uh, tayong surprise sa lahat ng 92 participants nandito and coming pa na mag, uh, magkaka meron ng chance to have their attendance at the end of the session. So, abangan natin yon. Okay, so let's go into the details of tonight's learning session. So, design sprint. Um, basically, yan. I had this opportunity maybe two or three years, mga three years or four years ago. I've seen that design thinking, design sprint will be the next set of uh, skill set no, or the next set of uh, knowledge and uh, skill that will be needed in today's world, no, in the, in the future, kagaya ng data analytics, no? Uh, yeah, we are in continuous improvement, pero we've seen na, okay, parang ibang game to, no, yung design sprint. So, I had this chance to be part of a very good cohort of international students by the Design Sprint Brazil that time. And uh, we had this four-week boot camp, no, and uh, I learned a lot from that boot camp. I spent like more than $1,000 for that, no, pinag-ipunan ko yun. Uh, and, uh, Finally, na natapos ko siya, I've uh, completed my project and na certify tayo, no? I think few, only few here in the Philippines is an alum, uh, alumna or alumnus of this particular school, Design Sprint School sa Brazil, no? Um, they have the the list of their graduates no on their website and uh kasi hindi po lahat ng napupunta doon nagiging certified sprint master pero po talaga silang nakalagay na graduate lang ng program kasi may mga kulang na requirements so medyo mataluti din and uh, by god's grace nakalusot tayo so whatever learning po yung nakuha ko doon i'll be sharing with you the surface no for the next uh, 60 minutes or so ayan Okay, so let's start with this picture. Okay. Maybe some of you are already familiar with who is this Filipina engineer. Uh, kung, kung talagang, kung kakilala niya siya, can you comment on your uh, comment box or chat box yung kung sino to, kung kilala niyo siya. Yan. Sa ating 112 viewers, sino nga ba tong Filipina engineer na to? Okay. Yan. So, abang niisip nyo, I'll spill the beans. This Filipina engineer is one of our friend. Yan, si Tama, si Janessel, si Aysam Heno, engineer Aysam Heno, the found, co-founder and CEO of SOL, no? or Sustainable Alternative uh, Light. No? Uh, yung SOL, yung module po na hawak niya, it's actually... Um, a lighting module which is powered by the solution of salt and water. Okay. Cool, di ba? So, another. Um, yeah. Cropital. Yeah. Maybe some of you are familiar. This is a crowd, 
funding platform good uh, that is doing good things for the farmer as you may know uh, yung mga farmer natin na mga brothers and sisters most of the problem that they encounter is yung kakulangan ng pondo to do their farming activities so this group of engineers from UP uh, actually headed by an industrial engineer uh, from UP si Ruel si Sir Ruel they created a platform where farmers can be featured yun ano yung makaning need nila ano yung crop na, ginag- na tinatanim nila and then people can invest into that farmer and after the harvest cycle babalik dun sa mga investor with some gains so yun yung crop vital the next one would be angkas if you're in the metro yeah angkas alam mo yan di ba uh, more mobile na way of transportation and it expanded its services into some other domains no and yes it helps us to be to navigate across the crowded metro area ah, so yun yung tatlo no now let me ask you what is common to these examples okay i want to engage you what is common to these examples you can use the chat box for us to have an interaction and thank you for those who are participating by the way no um What do you think is common to these examples? Okay. We have salt, we have cropital, we have angkas to mention a few. Pero ano yung common sa mga to? Any idea? Okay. Thank you, Ms. Madeline, Oliver, and Anthony. Sabi nila, innovation, discovered by Filipino, correct? Innovation, novel ideas, wow, what a good description of uh, from Roman. Okay. Agriculture, mm-hmm. Anong ginagawa nila? They? To make things simpler, thinking out of the box. And so thank you for your participation. To spill the beans, what is common across these examples, aside from the things that you mentioned, ay ito po. Sabi niya, they solve real problems that normal people experience. Okay. Diba? So um, just to share with you the motivation, especially yung kay Engineer Aisa, ito yung gusto niyang ma-reach ng ilaw, ng liwanag, yung mga household sa remote, very remote areas. Yung hindi kaya abutin ng kuryente. So, that's that's a problem that people in this particular area experience. In this time of pandemic, there are so many businesses that, you know, that started because uh, the pandemic is very new to us. Parang wala naman nakakita ng pandemic para tayong diba? And then it created so many problems, but uh, this bright minds see these problems, turned these problems into opportunities. That is why nakamero na mga businesses, mga bagong businesses and business models, even during the pandemic. Though sadly, may mga nagsara talaga, humina, pero nakamero din naman ng mga bago na businesses. So basically, ang pwede natin gawin on cases like those, if there's like difficulty, if there is like problem, is to see whether how can we turn them into opportunities. Meron nga po kundi tawag na uh, framework, ang tawag ko POP, P-O-P. Problem uh, turned into opportunities. Okay? So they solve common problems, okay? Na, or real problems that normal people like us do experience. Now, how can design thinking be put into the spring? Ano ba yung design thinking? Maybe some of you are already familiar, but kung hindi pa, let me give you an idea. Design thinking. Design thinking based on the definition used by the Interaction Design Foundation is an ideation process focused on, the, focused on human or it's human-centered and it is iterative. So basically, this is an approach that focuses on generating ideas 
new ideas, fresh ideas, new things or different ways of looking into things. And this revolves around human, the human uh, element of the process or of, uh, of this particular system, okay? Their pain points. Later on, we'll talk more about pain points and such. And this is iterative. This is not one time, big time. This is a process of improvement. Um, launching or deploying your first product or service, learning from it, failing fast. These are buzzwords you know, that you can hear. And then doing the iterations until such time that it, uh, you know, it is optimized and uh, really can serve you know, yung, yung ultimate objective natin of why we did the, the product or service or of why we created yung product or service. Well, when in fact, hindi naman po, wala naman pong perfect na product or service. And later on, I'll, I'll share with you some, some stories and some, you know, anecdotes about what happened if uh, a company tries to make it perfect, di ba? So, yun, uh, it's an ideation process centered on the human needs or human interaction. No? Yung kanilang, we, we emphasize, no? Yung nga, yung term na ginagamit. We, we try to put our shoes in their shoes to learn ano ba yung mga pain points nila in using the process or the products and services. And it's an, an iterative approach. Okay po? So, that's design thinking. So, design thinking, just like if you're here, you learned... Uh, Probably Lean Six Sigma from our free white belt course or certification that can be found on our aslexpage.com website. You know that Lean Six Sigma has the Maik. Well, design thinking has its five phase model too. And it's called uh, this emphasize. Okay, we're trying to understand the problem, then define. We define the specific problem or opportunity or gap. Then we ideate, uh, we generate lists of potential solutions or actions that we can implement based on the identified or defined gap. And then we create prototypes. Yeah, we'll talk more about that later on. And we test it. We test our ideas, we test the, 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 the product or the service or the process. So that's basically the five-phase design thinking model. But we will not dig deeper into these steps, but rather we will go on discussing you know, in the next few slides a derivative of the design thinking model which is called the design sprint so what is the design sprint uh, again maybe you're here you already heard it but kung wala kung, kung hindi man wala ka pang idea don't worry kasi bibigyan kita ng idea of what is design sprint design sprint yan design sprint sabi nga dun sa title ng poster natin design sprint is google's design Thinking for Innovation. So this book that you can see here, The Sprint, How to Solve Big Problems and Test New Ideas in Five Days, has been the basis of our four-week bootcamp together with so many books that we gave to us. And this is written by Jake Knapp from Google Ventures. So she's one of the ones who started the first time using the Design Sprint. Design Sprint is described as a five-phase process for answering critical business questions through design, prototyping, and testing ideas with customers. So this is basically building, um, um, what do you call this? Brainstorming, you know, ideation, ideation, and then prototyping, and then testing with real customers. Okay? So ganun siya. Um, if you can see on the front cover of the book sabi dyan five days now originally they they're doing this five days but there has been some modifications some uh, improvements so depending kung kung ano yung set up no in, in organizations it could be like a four hour or eight hours or two days four days three days depending on the setup it has been agreed between the the facilitator and the members of the the team that will be doing the sprint and so the design sprint, just like its diba, original form, yung design thinking, meron din siyang tinatawag na model. This is the design sprint model that you're seeing here. So it's composed of five phases. It starts with understand, sketch, decide, prototype, and validate. Okay? So kung, kung observe natin, if you will observe closely, 
what we can see here are like diamond panels that are adjacent to each other. Okay, po. So let me use in um, pointer. So the first thing is to understand the problem. <clears throat> Next is to sketch out options based on the identified and understood problem. Next is to decide out of the options, ano ba yung ipupush through natin through the next phase, which is prototyping or creating the minimum viable product or MVP that we can use to test and validate our ideas uh, with real customers. Now, if you can see here, there, there is the use of two thinking modes. The first one is the divergent thinking mode, and the second one is the convergent thinking mode. So let's talk first about the divergent thinking mode. So, ibig sabihin po nito, if you can look into the symbolism here, we have a small point of the triangle here, tapos bigla siyang lumaki dito. So, this one. Okay. Yeah. What does this mean? So, it only means that from the understood problem, the specific problem that we have, what we have to do is to generate options. Okay? Potential solutions. That's divergent from one to many. One to many. Okay? Now, after generating alternative solutions, then that's the time that we try to converge. Diba? So that's from many, many to one. So dito po yun. Ito, many to one. So look at this. Um, sa sketch, we, we use divergent. We sketch out options. And then sa decide, we, we choose kung alin yung gagawa ng prototype. And then the prototype could be several forms. Mabimili tayo kung alin yung i-validate natin. So understand is the first thing. So nandyan lahat. No? Kung baga, both divergent and convergent should be used on that particular phase. But on the next phases, yeah, yun po yung magiging flow natin. So that's divergent and convergent. Divergent again, one to many, while convergent, many to one. No? So let's uh, Oops, sorry. And so let me share it again. Okay, I hope you can see my skin already. Let's proceed. So let's proceed with the first phase. Understand. Understand, sabi chan. Understand the challenge. So we're talking about Ano nga ba yung difficulty? Ano nga ba yung pain point? Ano nga ba yung opportunity? Ano ba yung problem? Okay? And as part of the understand phase, we always try to map out the current state. Okay? If you're already he if you're here and you're already familiar with the process mapping things, value stream mapping, flow charting, things like that. So you might learn a thing or two new tools na dito. Pero I am not going to show how it's being done. I'm going to show some examples, no? Ayan. So, yun yun. Understand the challenge and how the process works. With this question in mind, what are we trying to solve? Now, there are so many problems. Again, uh, cliche it may sound coming from me and to former mentees in this particular session would say, laging ganun yung lainis or relax, which is very true. You have to. There's so many problems in the world. There's so many problems in your workplace. In your school, in your household, in your yeah workplace, then we should choose really the problem that we want to solve. Okay, but before we can choose that, we have to understand what are we trying to do and what are we trying to solve, diba? And um, in the context of design sprint, design thinking, design sprint, we're always focusing ourselves on the pain points. You know, most of the time we focus on the pain points. What are pain points coming the, from the phrase itself, diba? Pain points. These are points that, you know, delivers pain. <laughs> Ang corny. Pero, but really, these are points in your process map, in your uh, in, in your process, no? in your journey in using the process that really gives that pain. This could be some sort of bottleneck for those who are familiar with the term. Uh, pain meaning di may difficulty on that particular process step. May difficulty on like filling the form or completing the form. Difficulty in um, getting the service, difficulty in, in uh, like, ano ba, 
like availing the service, searching for the service, or using the product, uh, purchasing the product, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is part of the journey that a consumer or customer is going through, and then may big lang may pain point. So yun yung hinahanap natin. That's what we're looking for, and that's we're trying to uh, what we are trying to understand. No. So in that event, you can use what is called user journey or experience mapping. So Kedi, this is just another form of process mapping, trying to figure out saan ba dito? In this, in this particular picture that we're looking right now, in, in, in what particular step or in what particular segment of the journey, he or she had that pain point or had experience or felt that pain point. Okay? Kasi kailangan, kailangan maintindihan natin, di ba? It's like we're trying to do root cause analysis. Identification of the problem, problem analysis, or root cause analysis. Okay? In understanding the problem, which we should always involve how, you know, the users use the process. We have to observe. We have to get data, read researches. But we can do re user research. No? What else? In understanding the problem, we can also do user interviews. Ask them. How about your experience in using this particular platform? Say, for example, for our case, the askleckspeech.com uh, platform. What is the experience of the users, the 7,000 users that's already in the platform? Okay. So for us to identify the pain points, right? So that's going to be through user interviews or maybe focus group discussions or surveys, uh, real observations, and uh, the list goes on and on. Always remember, again, I would like to reiterate that you have to ask yourself if you're solving the right problem. You might have, okay, the illusion of you as a provider that you're solving the problem for the customers. When in fact, that's not a problem in reference to or in perspective to your customers or users. So you really have to involve your users in, in you identifying and uh, trying to understand what are their pain points and problems, okay? In the context of, uh, you know, for Lean Six Sigma, we have this, uh, it should start with blah, 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 and then numbers, numbers, numbers. For uh, the design sprint, because it's more of a creative approach to problem solving, we state our, or we call our problem statement more of the how might we statements, or HMW, say for example. Um, earlier, I had this mentoring and um, session with our interns about their future projects that would help Alpha to, to, to improve and further grow. And the uh, one thing that I've mentioned to them is how might we, or how might we, one of them are, is how might we increase the number of platform users at Asplex PH Academy Digital. So that's basically framing the problem into something that, that triggers action. How might we uh, decrease the number of absenteeism of our employees? Okay. How might we increase the motivation of our engineers? How might we make uh, the, the online learning classes more fun? So something like that. We're framing uh, the we're reframing the opportunity you know, into something that could trigger action that we're seeing as an end state. Diba? Parang, okay, kapag katapos ito, uh, ang in-expect ko, tataas yung number ng users, tataas yung uh, attendance, mawaba yung absenteeism, things like that. Okay? So that's uh, how might we or HMW. So in the understand phase, always remember that a problem well stated is a problem half solved. Sabi nga ni Charles Kettering. So we have to be very critical on how we state the problem. So how might we in the context of design sprint is the way to do it, okay? But first, before you can put that HMW, you have to understand the whole problem and uh, its uh, domains and uh, related na mga factors pa, di ba? So that's the first phase, understand. So once you have the problem already, you understood what's happening, no? Next is sketch. Sketch, this is sketching out options. Basically, this is... Generation of potential solutions. Okay. So we have here a very clear picture of what's going to happen. You have one HMW 
well, you can have more than one HMW, but at the end of the day, it is recommended that you focus first on one HMW. If there's a need to combine, then you can combine. Uh, this is with agreement to your team members and with the approval of whoever is the approver of your project. Yeah. Basically, this is a project champion or in the design sprint context, it's called the decider. No. Um, yeah, how might we, and then applying divergent from one to many, from the frame problem, papunta dun sa mga options. So options, 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 sabi nga ni Tony Gonzaga. Diba? So options, options, options. So from one problem to several potential solutions. Okay, so that's divergent mode of thinking. Well, um, practitioners believe that sketching improves creativity. Kaya nga kung mapapansin nyo, when it, there are people, I, I would say that maybe most of the people, I don't have the, the exact numbers, pero it works for me. Whenever I have an idea, I have to write it down. Or maybe I have to sketch it so that I can, um, you know, I can uh, release that, that particular idea or document that particular idea. And Google's believe that this is also uh, something that helps improve creativity. That is why... And generating the alternative solutions based on your HMW, we are using this tool called Crazy8. Bakit siya Crazy8? It's because you have to generate eight unique ideas in eight minutes. How insane is that? So, ibig sabihin, kailangan ko mag ng one idea per minute. Well, hindi naman automatically, this is not something that, okay, we're running the workshop now, we're facilitating then. Okay, you, you have to produce eight ideas in eight minutes. There is a time for you to like do your research, benchmark, uh, check whether the, the problem is being experienced by similar businesses, okay, or the process is being used by similar industries or for that matter. So, meron namang time to think. Pero yung specific na ito, yung crazy eight, yan. Yung frame nito, time frame is eight ideas in eight minutes. In the traditional context, I ask uh, participants of my workshop for design sprint to prepare one paper, um, flip into eight panels or manila paper for, for larger groups. Or now, ano na tayo, digital. So basically, baka mga, ano na to, mga PowerPoint or Google Slide or any... Uh, marami kasi tayong mga platforms that is being used to run the uh, remote design sprints right now, no? Meron tayong Miro, yan. Uh, or Mural, ayan po. So, anong, anong gusto ditong mangyari ng, ng tool? Crazy 8, 8 minutes in, uh, uh, 8 ideas in 8 minutes, unique ideas as much as possible, no text or less text, photos or illustrations, drawings, okay? Drawings, illustrations, pictures that would convey the solution that you would want to give or apply to the identified HMW. Okay. Again, sketching para mag-improve yung creativity. Okay? So, yun yung crazy eight. And we're using this, believe it or not. Now, if you're like an anime or cartoon geek or nasa age bracket ko kayo, you know for sure Eevee, EV would be the HMW, the normal EV, and then meron siyang walo. Yun yung crazy eight. Yun yung eight ideas from one HMW. Okay? So what's important is that the sketch conveys an idea. Hindi kailangan maganda yung picture. It doesn't have to be a very good drawing. What's important is that it conveys a message. Kasi kung text, you will not visualize what you want it to do. But if you start with sketching it out and then support it with some text, minor text, then you have that idea already. You express it, diba? More creatively. Okay? And um, that's the second phase. So we're done with understand. We're done with sketch. Now we have options. Okay? So basically, if you're running a design sprint with five members and uh, after Crazy 8, you have eight unique ideas per Member, so that's gonna be eight times five, 40 unique ideas. So that's a lot to take for one HMW. Uh, this is why we have to decide which among the 40 ideas yung kailangan natin i-pursue. Decide which path to take. 
Now, if you're talking about deciding, this is where the convergent mode of thinking will come into the picture. Options, 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 madaming options, 40 options, and dami. Then we have to, you know, come up with one solution. And then that's where convergent thinking will come into the picture. Many to one, diba? So yun yung gagamitin natin. In the context of design sprint, we have what we call stick and decision or heat map voting. This is basically voting or multi-voting no? sa traditional context natin. But um, yung ginagawa kasi dito is that in traditional context, we, we put into a room no, yung mga crazy eight and then we vote on th those crazy eight kung ano yung idea na gusto natin i-pursue to the next uh, phase, which is the prototyping phase. So if you're familiar with the Pinoy Big Brother thing, hit map, hit map voting is like PBB nomination, di ba? Kung sino may pinakamadaming boto, lalabas ng bahay ni Kuya. For this case, uh, the idea which has the highest number of votes will go out from the um, sketch phase and uh, from the decide phase, no? And then we'll move to the next phase, which is the prototyping phase. So that's the analogy, okay? And uh, on top of multi-voting, the voting style of decision-making, you can also use decision matrix by, say, for example, in this particular uh, particular frame that we have right now, we can compare the value or gain that we can get vis-a-vis -vis the technical difficulty of doing or the complexity of doing the solution. Okay, that could be one. If you're familiar with impact effort matrix, you can assess whether the impact that we can get from here is you know worth or uh worth of the time and effort that we will be deploying or employing in the solution if you happen to you know complete our yellow belt program meron kami tinatawag na peak matrix this is also applicable or that is also applicable to this context and um well there are cases that no specific concept lang no kumbaga parang hindi lang isang concept but sabi nga doon it's either all in one or rumble rumble is from okay several ideas we get the good features we combine and then we move to the prototyping phase pwede rin naman as very strict yung group we want all in one kung ano yung mapagbotohan lang yun lang parang ganun so it's up to the team no and the facilitator of the process well i'm what i'm saying is that there are so many ways on how to decide. And these are just some of the ways. Again, we're just tackling the tip of the iceberg here. Okay? And uh, next, so after we've decided which, yeah, we decided we what uh, solution that uh, we want to pursue, always remember lang that we have to go back to our HMW. You know, and uh, try to, diba? Yun yung objective kasi natin eh, to satisfy the HMW. So we have to, Consider always whether the solution or solutions or combinations of solutions will address the user's pain. Okay, that's very important. Okay. And, and, and the, yeah, so we're done with the three, third, uh, three, no? Understand, sketch, and, uh, Ano nga itong dulo? Des uh, decide. Yan. Prototype. May nak nakapag-decide na tayo. We're able to decide. Okay, sige, this one. No? So, let's go to uh, this one. Building your prototype. So, prototype. If you're an engineer, prototype, alam ko na kung ano tumatakbo sa isip mo. If you're business, if you're uh, a business graduate, alam ko na rin kung ano tumatakbo sa isip mo. Well, um, kung ano yung iisip nyo man, that could be, portion of that could be true. No, para ay kailangan sobrang laki magastos etc etc no but uh, in the context of design sprint design thinking no uh, frame of reference we have different levels of prototyping um yeah prototyping is creating uh, the in siya sabi natin minimum viable product o yung pinakamalapit na version na na pwedeng gamitin to test the idea Okay, sa inyo yung pinakamalapit na version na pwedeng gamitin para itas yung idea. So, product or service or process, pwedeng i-prototype. Okay? So, prototyping could come into low fidelity or high fidelity mga prototypes and, and some other types of prototypes pa. So, low fidelity meaning hindi masyado magastos. 
but still the objective of you later on testing your idea or your 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 process or your improvement in the process or in the product or service magagawa mo pa rin. we have prototypes like 3d prototypes and and this is actually one of the booming um trends in even in the industrial setup no i can still remember my previous work uh i'm in charge with innovation and yung plan namin is to get no yung yung mga malaki talaga large scale na mga 3d printers para for example if you like need to create something that could be used in the machine no nandoon na siya no doon ni gagawin before yung actual uh, fabrication yan so that's 3d prototype uh, we have mock ups so you don't have to uh, well it's an advantage if you know software that you can use for mock ups pero ako kasi when i did my project and uh, hindi it, it, the boot camp that i attended it's not tool agnostic so you can use any tool that you want for as long as the objective will be served no and uh, i i just use powerpoint to create itong uh, project of our that gate movie deals that ph does this is an aggreg aggregator mock-up so meaning if you want to watch a movie just go to this and fill up the 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 fields and then magbibigay siya ng recommendation saan yung pinakamalapit na merong next na showing na ganito na film tapos you can order the drinks you can pay there and then etc etc something like that so yeah uh, in short I, I just use powerpoint as my mock-up no? now let me share with you a video on um low fidelity prototyping of an app okay and uh, this covers and cuts across prototyping and user testing or validation so let's watch this I see your task. Now is to open the EE, my EE app. Okay. Let me put some of that. Nice. <laughs> nice. And now the task is to register and log in. The next task is to remove the minutes tile from your home screen. Okay, back to the top. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, change. Change. Let's go. Cool. Uh, 
So what you've seen is basically the bridging na siya, no, ng prototyping, low fidelity prototype of an app used for, I think, for a telco company na gumagamit ng app for billing and for, you know, uh, checking the bills or topping up with uh, additional features or services. So things like that. Uh, you've seen that uh, how how the prototype works. It doesn't have to be yung high fidelity ka agad because we're trying to learn from actual users later on dun sa ating uh, user testing. So para we can discuss more clearly, so I'm gonna yeah, so continue the discussion. Oops. In terms of prototyping, it's very important to note that continuous improvement will always be better than delayed perfection. There are ideas that were, you know, that were there but did not took off or maybe naagaw na ng ibang uh, company yung idea na unahan ng mag-deploy sa market. It's because there are companies that sticks to let's make it perfect before we, you know, before we launch it to the market. Well, um, sabi ko nga, you have to fail fast. You have to learn fast. Diba? And you can learn from your failures. I'm not saying na, okay, kahit hindi pa super ganda, I mean, hindi hindi siya worth i-deploy pa sa, sa target market, eh, i-deploy na natin siya. We have what they call the minimum viable product or MVP. Na parang, okay, for as long as this is something na can work on, satisfying yung yung requirements ng customer, pero may mga konting kailang improve, okay lang yun. Kesa naman sa delay natin ng i-delay years na yung iba nasa ibang phase na, diba? so again, continuous improvement is better than delay perfection. And last but not the least is validate or testing your solutions with real customers. So nakita nyo kanina, you've seen in the example how it's being done. Okay. Uh, um, how many users are recommended for usability testing? Based on NN group, no, you need at least five. Okay. This, okay, kung nakikita nyo yung aking mga fingers here, yung tatlo would represent the average these two will be the extremes. Extreme na maganda yung feedback, extreme na pangit yung feedback, or the other way around. And yung ito, ito yung average. So you're trying to get, di ba, the whole spectrum of the possible uh, users or users of your process. Just like what you've seen. Uh, kanina, isa pala. Pero if you want to try to use it, then you can have at least five, okay? For usability testing purposes. Now, in conducting usability testing, you have to minimal explanation. You've seen earlier, you have the task, list of tasks, and the user or the tester will just have to, you know, do the task as prescribed in the list. If you want to ask questions, ask open-ended questions, not answerable by yes or no. Why? Because you want to. Kukuhan yung insight during user testing or usability testing would give you the opportunity to iterate until such time that you achieve the minimum viable product and maybe the, the optimized level of your products and services or your idea, your process improvement, etc. So that's basically how usability testing happens. Okay? And uh, that's it. Just to have a recap, meron tayong five phase ng design sprint. We have understanding the problem we have sketching out options we have deciding which among the options shall we proceed to next one is prototyping or building uh yung minimum viable product natin or yung pinakamalapit na version ng ating product or service and last but not least is validate or validating or testing with real customers i would like to end this particular sharing with uh, a quote from my book creativity tools Sabi ko dito, if you want to be innovative, you must be creative first. No. Creativity means you can generate a lot of ideas. But if those are ideas and they did not pass through or they haven't been executed, they are just ideas. They are just good ideas. So what we need to do is to make that happen. Okay? To make that good idea happen. So with that, I would like to thank you for... Um, hearing my content for tonight about Design Sprint, I hope you learned a thing or two about it. Thank you.
And I'm now open to any questions that you might have. Ayan. Sir Joe, ayan po. So, salamat po sa 120 viewers natin. So, may 123 tayo na, or 124, na makaka-receive ng magandang regalo tonight. Ayan. What questions do you have so far uh, or, or about the topic, the design sprint po? Uh, hi, Jade. Yeah, the book is, uh, we have physical copies here. We publish it once sa Amazon. I don't know if the link is still uh, up to Amazon right now. Amazon Books. Pero you can try po sa Amazon Books to check it out kung andun pa po. Uh, if you're really interested, you can send me a message via Facebook, uh, Felix Conception Veroya. And we can connect via LinkedIn too, by the way. And salamat po. And what other questions do you have? Oh, thank you po sa appreciation comments nyo. Oh yes, this is actually from Aubrey. He tag a friend. Uh, di ba magtatayo ka ng business doon ka dito malaking tulong and it's correct this is something that i'm using and facilitating to help students uh, students to um arrive into something na pwedeng gamitin nila na topic for feasibility or research nila uh, meron din akong version nito for digital products may version ako on if you want to start it, start your business this is a very flexible uh, methodology, you know, if you can see, no? So, yung pag-start ng design sprint, we just have to follow yung, yung ating framework na binanggit kanina, no? Understand muna natin what are the pain points, then we we provide alternative solutions to the pain points, we choose so which which solution shall we proceed we create a prototype of the solution and then we test it out no yeah and then we get insights so ano siya di ba iterative process kasi siya yeah so we have questions coming from youtube so sabi dito regarding the heat map voting who gets to vote po for the idea to avoid bias so for the heat map heat map voting everyone gets uh gets the chance or have the chance to to vote uh, typically may three votes pwedeng two pwedeng one pwedeng one 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 pwedeng yung three sa isang ano lang sa isang idea lang but definitely uh we're not looking into okay idea ko yung iboboto ko not that kind of voting, na ba? So, hindi po yun yan. And then the facilitator will always be uh, blunt about it, na bawat iboto yung sarili mong gawa, no? Ayan. Well, design sprint kasi is a very flexible methodology. Um, for as long as there are pain points, I think that's gonna be applicable. So, for example, pain point of your agents, to the question pala, uh, first muna yung question. How can we, how can design sprint be applied in BPO setup from Leo Vince uh, Compatir? Um, yung, yun niya, uh, this is virtually applicable to any domain for as long as may pain points, may opportunity. So first we have to identify any pain points. Pwede kasing, uh, for example, nahirapan yung agent nyo to, to let's say, to answer calls or to maybe check on the knowledge books or knowledge resources na meron to answer the queries ng mga customers. So first, we have to identify that. Well, we can start with metrics also. Uh, pero yun nga, dahil creative siya, we look into real pain points by the customers. And then if you want to translate into something or users of the process, and if you want to translate into something quant more quantitative, pwede naman po, no? And yes, this is, uh, to the question, is, is this something that we can uh, use for services? Basically, yes. And virtually, yes. Pwede po. 
uh, a question from Paul Mike. Uh, is computer-aided design skill needed in design sprint? That would be an advantage, especially if you're trying to solve problems na related sa design. Now, I mean, design kasi is a very, very vague na topic. Hindi siya, kasi syempre, if, depending on the context that you are into or depending on the hat that you're wearing, pwede kasing design is something na design ng mga materials, etc. But design can also mean the whole system, the whole process. So, yan. So, if you're uh, parang addressing a problem relating to yung design ng mga materials, design ng mga uh, ng mga buildings, etc., then CAD or computer-aided design will be a good additional skill set. No? Ayan. Ayan. We have a good question coming in from Grand Santillan. Ano po ang difference ng design sprint sa Dimae? Well, uh, design sprint is basically more of creative problem solving. Dimae works best with problems related to waste and uh, waste and variation. So, meron siyang delineation. Ano po? So, pwede kasi mas creative kasi siya. No? In a way na, okay, ito yung problem. Hindi ko masyado kailangan ng ng, ng, ng data na sobrang heavy para makapag-proceed ako. Kasi I'm talking about yung, yung empathy na level. Eh, no? So that's basically the difference. While yung DMI kasi, we focus more on yung ano yung behavior ng, ng, ng process based sa data, ano yung uh, data na magpo-prove, etc. Et so medyo mas technical siya kung tutuusin. I hope I was able to answer the question. no But um, Ang, ang hirap lang mag, magbigay ng example right now, pero yun, me, meron, meron at meron siya. So for example, how can, how can, kasi minsan sa design sprint, alam, parang alam mo yung end state mo eh. Diba? Ang aalamin mo na lang, what are the creative ways, what are the different ways on how to address this? Parang ganun. Sa ano, hindi eh. Kasi hindi mo pa naman known kung ano yung problem eh. Kaya nagkakameron ko pa ng mga, ano, mga tests and such. Eh? Ayan. Um, so, uh, another question from Facebook. Uh, balikan ko po later on yung sa... Ayan. So, ano... Sorry. Can there be a quantifiable or qualitative basis for identifying pain points? If we're talking about pain points as experienced by the customers or users of the process, yes. As mentioned earlier, pwede naman po natin siya i-quantify. Pero dahil nga, more of creative ang tingin natin sa design sprint as uh, as an approach no, to innovation. I'm not saying na hindi pwede gamit ang data. In some in some variation of the material, the same material that we have seen, meron akong portion doon na for you to be able to understand the problem, you need data. So, Answer would be yes. You can have you can quantify it by looking into the data that would support the pain point, or uh, data that could be used to measure the pain point or the source of the pain point. Who should we include in forming a design sprint team? Um, in terms of team composition, this would be people who works in the process o yung mga process owners, process experts, or even yung mga auxiliary members na uh, pwedeng hindi directly pero affected sila yung other stakeholders, pwede rin po. Tapos syempre, customers sa dulo magiging part din siya ng team, di ba? As, as testers. Is it possible po ba na mag-work sa design sprint? Ah, na po na mag-work sa design sprint dan sa Dimaik. So maybe the question is uh, by Donna, kung possible ba na mag-work ang design sprint better compared sa Dimaik? Yes, depende po kasi sa nature ng problem. Um, hindi naman kasi po, uh, and to quote, no, a conference that I, conference speaker that I was able to meet 10 years ago. Uh, hindi naman di maik ang sagot sa lahat ng problema ng mundo. Depende-pende kasi sa nature ng problem. So, definitely, there are problems that design sprint would be better 
as an approach over the demic approach. Ayan. From Mom Grazy, dapat po ba may prototype na magawa sa design sprint or pwedeng process improvement lang po? Um, when we say, yeah, when we say prototype, prototyping is actually one phase of the design sprint model. Hindi kailangan na prototype is physical product. It could be like uh, a process map na parang, okay, we improved this, we added this step, and then we, okay, try it out, users of the process. So it doesn't mean that yung prototype should be something physical. Hindi po siya ganun na context. Baka yun yung, yun yung ating nagiging confusion. So it doesn't need to have to be physical. Pwedeng uh, process map siya, no? something na hindi nakahawakan or non-physical. I hope I was able to answer your questions. Ha? Um, let's go to the list here from Sir George's end. Uh, What happens daw if nagkakamero ng stagnant sa method? Well, design sprint is useful, especially time box kasi siya. If you can see five days, dapat in five days you were able to do everything in the traditional context. I've seen, I'm not saying na deployed na yung solution sa until testing. Yung deployment is another story. no? Um, I've seen students and even professionals coming from the program na four hours, meron na silang MVP or meron na silang prototype that they can test out and validate. No? So when when there is point of stagnancy and the possibly possibly it could happen, siguro we have to identify first bakit may, merong ganon scenario and then address whichever causes that. Okay. What other questions do you have? What other questions do you have before we go to the conclusion of this workshop? Are there any other questions? This is a good point from Sir Rom Roman Husay, RG Husay. Um, seems like design sprint is both science and art. Yeah, you're correct. You're definitely correct. Much as technical skills are needed, uh, very important then ang creativity skill. Yes. Any tips daw? Ah, may question pala siya sa dulo. Any tips po in improving creativity? Well, um, on my book, dun sa creativity tools, there's a long list of how you can improve creativity. But ang masasabi ko lang, Dito sa creativity, this is something na uh, when when I had the chance to talk, the share, no, the same stage for a talk that I had for PUP Manila two years ago, three years ago with Francis J. Kong. Tinung niya ako, what is creativity for me? Sabi ko, it's looking into things differently. Okay, so nandyan siya, ito yung gamit niya, ganito siya ginagawa. Pero I think there's another way to do it, a better way a much efficient way, a, a more efficient, uh, effective way to do it. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, for him daw, ang creativity is copy-tivity, as in C-O-P-Y-T-V-T. Why? Uh, there's an existing thing already, you copy that and you make it better. So yun, um, trying to make things better, looking into things and how to make it better, that's one practice of creativity. And usually ako, um, ang ano ko kasi ng creativity is when I write things out. When something pops into my head, it's either if I don't have my phone with me, na isulat ko sa notes. Pag may notebook ako, no, as yung sulat ko, no. Uh, I had this course. I taken. I've taken this course. Na pag daw pagkakagising daw natin, may mga bagay tayo na naiisip right after we wake up. So yung pag bago tayo bumangon or pagkabangon natin. So it's important that you have a tickler beside your bed para yung idea daw no ma-capture ma ka agad masulat doon. Yan. Yung mga pag-draw, 
for me it works ah yung mga sketching sketching na yon it works so you can try that out Okay. So I guess um, wala nang question. Ay, meron po, po ba? A question from Miss Madeline, si Ma'am Delphine. Hello po. If you're going to just improve an existing product or process, still need to design sprinting or to do design sprint? Yes, pwede pa rin po, no? Um, like what I've mentioned earlier, say for example, ang isa sa mga pinapaproject ko sa sa interns namin right now is how to increase the engagement in our social media pages. Existing na yung pages, wala namang, uh, pwedeng may existing na rin ang mga bagay na ginagawa, pero may kailangan lang i-tweak or may kailangan lang i-improve. Still, design sprint can be used on cases like that. Nandiyan yung platform, pero may mga users na, uh, pero konti pa yung users. So, existing naman siya, Pero pwede natin gamitin ng design spin kasi yung HMW natin o yung ating how might be is how to increase the number of users. So, the answer would be yes po. Um, required po ba? Maybe this would be the last question for the benefit of time. I do apologize. Um, uh, a question coming from... So, ito yung question kanina from Ma'am Delphine. Another question from Jane Lineff. So sabi niya, required po bang Crazy 8 sa design sprint? Um, this is uh, parang a, a unique tool under design sprint. So I guess that would help kasi that 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 excites your brain cells to you know to to take on the challenge of producing eight ideas in 8 minutes. Yeah. Okay po, so for the benefit of time, I'm I do apologize if we can answer all the questions, but I'm very open to hearing your questions and trying to answer them offline. You can uh, uh, add me here at Facebook, Felix Conception Veroya. You can also connect with me via LinkedIn, Felix uh, Veroya. Uh, we have, uh, please follow our pages, yung ating um, uh, pages, but don't go yet because I will be announcing Ano po, I will be announcing uh, the the instructions on how to get your e certificate. This is, will be very quick, no? Please do allow me to to just mention some things that will be happening on the near future for Asklex. Ayan. Thank you for being with me tonight. Uh, we will be having an attendance form link in the end of this particular slides. Yeah, and only those who have completed the attendance form will be given an e-certificate. And attendance form will close after 30 minutes. Okay po, that's strict, no? Please follow us sa Facebook, sa LinkedIn, sa YouTube. Ayan. And uh, check on our free courses at aztecspeech.com slash courses. Yan, ito na po ang ating pinag-uusapan. Some people are asking, and yes, we are opening a certification program a more in-depth one. I'll be teaching more tools, definitely. And what's good about this is this is a design sprint challenge. Ibig sabihin ko nito, it's a training wherein you can apply your learnings in real life because you can learn and solve real problems using the design sprint, di ba? Sabi nga natin, here at our Asklex po, ginagamit namin talaga siya. Now, problems will be coming from real business, coming from our, uh, from our network. Ano po? Yung mga... Nasa network natin ng mga business owners. Ayan, if you can pull in yung mga corporate, if hindi masyado magkakamera ng problem or barrier, we can involve them. But mostly, small and medium enterprises po ang magiging beneficiary nito. And solutions will be coming from you if you will attend. So this will be a two-week challenge or bootcamp. Will, there will be two hours or two sessions of four hours each. Uh, a session for pitching your solutions based on the discussed problem with the uh, the business na mapapupunta sa inyo or ma-assign sa inyo and awarding of certification. This is bound to happen third week or fourth week of May. As mentioned, I've taken the course for about 50,000 pesos or more but we will be offering this for the first 500 participants for a rate which is like 5% lang halos nung uh, 
nung $1,000, which is $2,990. So whichever, whoever is in the list, magkakameron kayo ng chance to avail this particular opportunity. Okay po? So that's 